welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to share how to do curried cascadura or curried cascadu. It's also called hasa, I think, in Guyana. So I'm going to show you guys how to make curried cascadu. If you want to see how to do it, then keep watching. Cascadu here. This is about 12 or 13 cascadus or cascaduras and it's cleaned already and washed and my brother just slid the center here so we can stuff it. Slit it, take out all the guts and the gills and everything because this is where we're gonna stuff it. So I just took this out of the freezer. It's kind of defrosting a little bit so I'm gonna work on the filling. So for the filling, you'll need some tomatoes. I have five here. If I need more, I'll let you know in the description box below. I have some shadow banya or bandana, some garlic, some pimento peppers or any type of mild pepper that you have, some hot pepper, you can use one or two, some onions chopped, some more garlic that we're gonna use to chunk it, some curry powder, I have two types here, the Taj curry powder, some duck and goat, some black amjar masala, roasted ground jeera and some turmeric. This is what we're going to use to chunky the fish and this is what we're going to use to stuff the fish. I have some more curry powder, Taj, some roasted ground jeera and some black amjar masala. So even though the cascadu has been washed before being put into the freezer, I'm still going to wash it again. I like to wash it right before cooking it. So I'm just going to squeeze a lemon. And just give it a good wash. Leave it to soak in this lemon juice for about 5 minutes. And just rinse it out. Just to get all that fresh scent and everything out of it. So we're going to start by making the seasoning to your blender or your food processor, add your shadow banana, add the garlic, four of the pimento peppers, I'm gonna save the next two to chunk it, and half of the hot pepper. The next half will also be used to chunk it. And chunk it just means to fry in hot oil. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water because I don't want the seasoning to be very watery. And you're just going to pulse it so that it gets chopped up but not too watery. After your seasoning is blended and everything, you want to slice up your tomatoes like this. You can do it in small cubes if you want to. Now we're going to mix all the curry and everything in this. So first add some salt. About one or two of these spoons of seasoning. Of the blended seasoning we just made. And the curry, roasted ground jeera and the amchar masala. a little bit more salt right so once that's mixed good now we're gonna um, stuff the cascadu so once your cascadu is washed and everything properly make sure it doesn't have that fresh fishy smell now we're gonna stuff it with the tomato and curry mixture we just made
finish stuffing all the cascaru. I'm just gonna pour it back in bowl of basin. And then the rest of this curry mixture, I'm just gonna add it. See, there was not much left. I tried to use all to stuff it. Now you want to add a little bit of additional salt on top of the cascadu. Not too much because you don't want it to be too salty. Now add your seasoning. The rest of the seasoning. After seasoning it and mixing in those seasonings, you want to leave it to marinate for like an hour. Or you can cook it right away if you want. And I'm going to cook mine with peas. So I'm just going to leave it for like an hour to marinate and I'll come back and show you guys how to cook it. So to a pot on high heat, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add the onions and some curry leaves or carapilla leaves. So after the onion and the curry leaves saute up for a minute and a half, add your pimento peppers, the minced garlic and hot pepper. And leave that for like half a minute or a minute. Now to your um, garlic and peppers and everything here. You're going to add your turmeric, curry powders, amchar masala, and jeera. And I don't want this curry to overcook too much, so I'm going to add a little bit of water one time. And leave this for about a minute. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit because you want to make sure the curry cooks properly. Okay, so after about a minute and a half, you'll see the curry starting to kind of clump up and you'll see the oil separating from it. So after that, you want to add your seasoned cascadura or cascaduin. But if you're going to add peas and your peas is fresh, mine is boiled already. If your peas is fresh, you want to add it before you add the cascadu. You can boil your peas on the side. This is fresh peas that I boiled and then froze. So that's why I'm going to add this last. So I'll chunk it the cascadu first. Whatever is left in this bowl, like the seasonings, you can just put on a little bit of water and save this because this is good stuff here too. So you add your cascadu to the pot, let it fry for like five minutes until the liquid in here dries down a little bit or reduces and then I'll add a little bit more water to make a gravy. So after the liquid is fairly reduced and it's starting to stick to the bottom, I'm gonna add the peas in and just mix it. Now when your sauce with the peas and everything starts kind of sticking to the bottom of the pan, I'm going to add some hot water to this. So I'm going to add the hot water as well as the seasoning mixture that remained in this basin. I'm going to add a little more water to cover the fish. So after adding the water, you want to leave it to reduce to the amount of gravy or liquid that you want and then you can turn it off and taste it for anything else that is may need. So after about 20 minutes, the sauce is going to thicken up like this 
and it should be ready this is the amount of gravy that i'm leaving in mine it looks like a lot but it's actually not that much so i'm gonna turn it off and try not to turn up the fish too much because as it cooks it'll soften up and it'll mash up easily when you try to turn it 